While Shake Shack doesn't have an especially complicated menu, there are some items that are at the head of the class and shouldn't be missed. On the other hand, there are some items you probably shouldn't waste your time on. Let's take a look at Shake Shack's menu items ranked from worst to best. The chicken dog at Shake Shack is simply something that should not exist. Perhaps it sounds like a relatively healthy option, but don't be fooled, you will regret ordering this thing. If you ordered it expecting it to taste like chicken, you'll be left ruining your wasted trip to Shake Shack. The restaurant claims their chicken dog is made with apple and sage, but it just tastes like a mass of congealed meats, some flavorless spices, and a tiny bit of sugar to add a hint of sweetness. That mush is then mechanically pushed together and formed to look like any other hot dog that you find at your local grocery store. In short, stay far away from the chicken dog the next time you go to Shake Shack. It seems like all restaurants want to have a vegetarian option on their menu these days. While that's generally a good thing, the shroom burger at Shake Shack couldn't be anyone's idea of a good meal. Instead of ordering this vegetarian option, you might as well get some fries or one of their desserts instead. Shake Shack is known for their meaty burgers, so it's not entirely surprising that they haphazardly slap together this vegetarian option to appease those who would otherwise complain. Still, it's difficult to believe anyone would go to Shake Shack on their own volition because they're yearning for a big mushroom patty. To make matters worse, the shroom burger isn't even healthy for you. It's an oily, fried mushroom that is topped with a mound of cheese. In fact, the best part of this burger is the Munster cheese, but it's still not good enough to justify ordering one. The crinkle-cut fries at Shake Shack are a riddle wrapped in an enigma that is then deep-fried. Many people love their fries, but just as many people despise their fries, regardless, Shake Shack's fries just can't be trusted. Depending on the location, time of day, and sheer random luck, you'll either get perfectly crisp fries or fries that are completely soggy. If you've never had the fries at Shake Shack, the best way to describe them is to think of those crinkle-cut fries you had in elementary school. They're basically a slightly improved version of those school fries. Interestingly, Shake Shack once tried to move away from their crinkle-cut fries, and that nearly caused a riot. Customers even made a petition demanding that Shake Shack discontinue their never-frozen hand-cut fries and return to their frozen crinkle-cut fries. The petition apparently worked because the frozen fries are back for good. Reckon what you like to eat in there? Well, the french fries are pretty good. Shake Shack's frozen custard is homemade, comes in both chocolate and vanilla flavors, and you can get it in a cone or a cup. Truthfully, as far as frozen custards are concerned, it's actually quite a bit above average. The problem is it's expensive, so you get limited bang for your buck. If you want Shake Shack's frozen custard, order a concrete. With the concrete, you pick either chocolate or vanilla, and then you select your mix-ins. The list of available mix-ins varies by location, but you can be confident that they use high-quality ingredients. Just as important, they completely blend together the frozen custard and the mix-ins. So it's not like some fast food restaurants that leave the bottom half of your concrete neglected and unblended. Another option to get the goodness of Shake Shack's frozen custard in a tastier form is to order a creamsicle float. It may sound odd if you've never had one before, but it's entirely satisfying. Dedicated customers know that Shake Shack was just a hot dog cart in the beginning. Since it was their primary item at the start of their history, you'd think they'd make an outstanding hot dog, right? Unfortunately, while Shake Shack's hot dogs are above average in taste, they're too expensive for what you get. You can find hot dogs just as good for a more reasonable price at numerous food carts around the East Coast. The hot dog itself tastes good, but it's also really fatty, which makes the texture a bit chewy. The highlight of the Shake Shack hot dog is actually the potato bun. If you love their hot dogs, you probably just love their buns, which is totally understandable. If you do order the hot dog, be sure to accept the added cheese they will offer. The cheese is tasty and will make the buttery flavor of the potato bun pop even more. To combat the chances that you will get the soggy fries at Shake Shack, do yourself a favor and just get their cheese fries. Shake Shack melts American cheese over their regular fries, and the result is something that will taste good whether the fries themselves are crispy or not. The restaurant posts a tongue-in-cheek warning on their website that their cheese fries are highly addictive. While that's far too over the top, their cheese fries are a definite upgrade over their regular fries. They're still the same frozen, crinkle-cut fries, but the American cheese makes all the difference. You can still get a side of ketchup to go with your cheese fries, but it'd be a waste of time, as you'll have plenty of cheese to dip your fries in. If you are only comfortable taking baby steps into the world of Shake Shack, go ahead and order the hamburger. While there are definitely better and more adventurous options on their menu, this is a fine place to start. 
The outstanding quality you will receive will give you first-hand evidence of how great Shake Shack is at creating some of the best fast food burgers. You'll also learn that this restaurant prioritizes taste over aesthetics, as the hamburger will taste a lot better than it looks. Meteor, we call this here being in burger heaven. Mmm. Shake Shack will put lettuce, onion, pickle, or tomato on your hamburger. You can also make it a double hamburger and add applewood smoked bacon or cheese or both. All of those extras just add to the taste, so go ahead and tell them to stack it high with your favorites. The problem, of course, is that your timidness is stopping you from experiencing the full greatness that Shake Shack has to offer. You're on the right path, you just didn't go far enough. It's called Shake Shack for a good reason. While the burgers get all the praise, the shakes are really good too. Beyond vanilla and chocolate, they have additional flavors to choose from, including caramel, strawberry, and even a coffee shake. While some people love the chocolate, the real best of the best when it comes to Shake Shack shakes is the black and white shake. It's a simple concept executed well. To make the black and white shake, they take vanilla frozen custard and slowly mix in fudge sauce. The key is that the fudge and the custard stay strong and isn't all liquefied into a chocolatey soup. Each mouthful will taste different depending on how much vanilla custard and how much fudge is in each bite. When ordering, you should know that Shake Shack will make any of their shakes malted. If you love malt, don't forget to ask for the upgrade. If you just want a scrumptious combination of flavors and textures, you can't go wrong with the Shack Stack. This behemoth burger stars a deep-fried portobello mushroom with a thick layer of breaded goodness. Beneath the mushroom is a bed of melted cheese, which rests on extra tender burger meat. On top of everything is tomato, lettuce, and a generous coating of shack sauce. For the uninitiated, shack sauce is one of the tastiest burger sauces you'll find anywhere. It contains a mixture of mayonnaise, mustard, ketchup, dill pickling brine, and a little bit of a kick thanks to cayenne pepper. You can try to make Shack sauce at home, but Shake Shack's version is perfection. The only downside with the Shack Stack is it can be difficult to eat unless you're blessed with an extra large mouth. Things can get messy if the mushroom starts breaking down, the cheese starts leaking, and the veggies start to topple. But then again, with everything tasting so good, you probably won't mind too much if the Leaning Tower begins to fall. If you love chocolate, the Shack Attack might go down as your favorite dessert item of all time. If you haven't ordered it already, the Shack Attack is chocolate custard mixed with dark chocolate chunks, chocolate fudge sauce, and cookie dough made with chocolate truffles. On top is, of course, more chocolate in the form of chocolate sprinkles. To say this dessert is rich would be an understatement. Despite that, it genuinely tastes wonderful. A whole gang of chocolate! <clears throat> I need it badly! America loves their chicken sandwiches, and Shake Shack delivers a worthy candidate in the fight for supremacy in this department. Their secret is their tasty chicken. They take the chicken and cook it slowly in a buttermilk marinade. Then it's covered with batter, seasoned, and floured. Finally, it's expertly fried to create the breaded chicken patty that goes inside their chicken shack. That's just the beginning, as one of the main selling points of the sandwich is the buttermilk herb mayonnaise that is coated on the bottom bun. Above the mayo, you'll find pickles and a reasonable amount of shredded lettuce. While the Shake Shack will always be known primarily for their burgers, the Chicken Shack itself makes this restaurant worth a visit. It's not the best chicken sandwich you can find anywhere, but you'll be satisfied with the quality. The Smoke Shack doesn't look overly complex, but it sure is flavorful. First, you decide whether you want the base to be either a single or double cheeseburger. Then, Shake Shack piles on the applewood bacon, along with a slathering of shack sauce. Last, but definitely not least, is the superstar of this party, the chopped cherry peppers. The mix of flavors you get from the beef, American cheese, and peppers is heavenly. Shake Shack actually released the recipe to their Smoke Shack, but good luck replicating it. The recipe has 13 ingredients, and unless you're a chef who knows where to source the best ingredients, you might as well go to Shake Shack and let them do the heavy lifting. It's the only way to truly experience this masterpiece. While Shake Shack's regular hot dog isn't anything to write home about, their Chicago dog is a game changer. With the Chicago dog, you get super fresh cucumber, onion, tomato, and sport pepper, along with mustard, celery, salt pickles, and Rick's Picks relish. The sport pepper gives the Chicago dog an authentic Chicago flavor, while the relish adds the right amount of pizzazz to awaken the veggies. Even if you're not usually a fan of relish, you should try this amazing combination of goodness. Don't be surprised if your whole view of hot dogs changes after tasting this thing. While Shake Shack has invented plenty of ways to tempt your taste buds, their original Shack burger still reigns supreme. 
The Shack Burger is our version of the classic cheeseburger. The most classic, iconic hamburger from dating back to the 1950s. You can have either a single or double patty and have it with or without American cheese. The Shack Burger is topped with tomato, lettuce, and their coveted Shack sauce. It doesn't sound like a combination that should be at the top of the list, but its simplicity is part of the magic. The shack sauce is able to stand out in this environment while the tomato and lettuce serve as the perfect complementary flavors to the sauce. All that said, it's Shake Shack's beef that will have you coming back again and again. Their beef is high quality and created with a proprietary blend of burger meat and seasoned with salt and pepper. To cook the beef, a special technique is used that smashes the meat on a griddle. It may sound complicated, but all you will end up caring about is how good it tastes. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite foods are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.